Hello and welcome to another season of Campus and Community, a current events program from Western Illinois University focusing on activities and programs at Western and in the surrounding community. I'm Darcy Schimberger from Western's Office of University Relations. Today's program looks at volunteerism and the many opportunities for volunteers within the region. Our first segment looks at Western's Volunteer Services Organization. As a unit of the Office of Student Activities, Volunteer Services strives to provide volunteer and service opportunities and programming as well as a way for Western students to connect with the Macomb community. Volunteer Services also advises WAVE, Western's all-volunteer effort. Volunteer Services at Western Illinois University provides volunteer opportunities and programming for Western students to connect to the Macomb community. Well, Volunteer Services is an area where anyone can come and find out uh, about volunteer opportunities, how to get more involved in the campus, how to get more involved in the town. Um, we offer one-time events that people can participate in. We coordinate uh, the alternative spring break trip in the spring. We last year had our first international service trip. A lot of activities come out of our area and we are in the Office of Stu Student Activities uh, here in the University Union. So it's just an area in the university where people can come find out what there is to do and get involved in volunteering and civic activities. Volunteer services exist to enhance students' educational pursuits through quality service opportunities. For one thing, students want it. Um, we have a lot of students who come and say, I'd like to get involved in some kind of volunteering in town or around campus. What is there to do? So there's definitely a need for it because people are asking for it. So I think that's one good reason to have it is that students really want it. And uh, the other good reason to have it, I think, is that it's just, it's just inherently a good thing to, to get involved with. It's something that a person can do throughout their lifetime. And, and once you get started, participating in government, participating in cleaning up the environment, participating, helping with children uh, at a hospital. When you do those things, people do feel good and, they, and it's something that we, we know they're gonna do probably for a long time. I think it's important to be involved in volunteering and participating in these kinds of civic and community activities because it is actually fun. I think part of it is uh, just the camaraderie of other people who are doing it. These are really nice students that want to do this and being part of something like that is is nice and, and fun for people. Uh, the people who do, who do this seem to have a good time and, and come back and do more of it. Um, so I think a lot of it is just fellowship and, and, and the fun of, of being part of something. Uh, we do try to make it easy for students if they are interested in volunteering. They can come to the WAVE meetings. We meet every single week on Mondays at 515 in the Sandberg Lounge and people just show up. They can sign up for whatever they want. They, we always have at least 10 to 15 different events that are coming up and we have transportation to those events for the people you go with somebody maybe you wouldn't you know be comfortable going to a nursing home yourself but if you go with four or five other people and you realize you know you're just serving pizza and it's fun and everybody's having a good time and the residents are glad you're there and you visit with them it, it a lot of it is just that it's it's pleasant i mean it's a nice thing to to participate in and the people are so grateful or the dogs and cats or whoever, whoever you help and little children we do reading buddies after school sometimes and the kids are so glad they like college kids come they love it and I think people just feel good about it so it's it's a good thing to do and you know you're doing something helpful to people but I think part of it is you know, it's a good time volunteer services also coordinates Western's all volunteer effort or wave Western's largest student-run volunteer organization WAVE gives students the opportunity to gain personal rewards through their efforts to serve the community in which they live. WAVE members work together in an effort to improve the quality of life for diverse populations. We have an organization called WAVE, which is Western's all-volunteer effort, and they have um, probably 10 to 15 different things they do each week and some of the things that we do on an ongoing basis with those students. Uh, we go to the Elms Nursing Home and serve pizza to the residents once a week. Uh, we go to another nursing home, Country View Center, and uh, play bingo with the people who live there. Uh, we also are um, volunteers at the animal shelter. Where students go and walk the dogs and play with them and. Uh, comb the cats and, and, and just, you know, part, just give those animals some, 
uh, affection and, a, and attention. Um, we also work with Special Olympics. We uh, are volunteers to help with that. And then big projects like big pink basketball, uh, volleyball, sorry, and um, Relay for Life, the Alzheimer's Walk. Our students participate in those things. They raise money for good causes that way. Um, constantly seems like doing fundraising events because there's so many good causes out there and that's one of the things we can do. So we, we try not to to you know focus on money because we mostly give time but there are projects that we do raise money for throughout the year. Most of what we do, we do some campus cleanups and, and some things like that but I'll, I would say a majority of the things that we do are out in the community so we're, we feel we're really an outreach kind of program and uh, it's part of, of making a student, you know, realize that they're part of something larger than just themselves. But many of the things we do, cleanups on the street in town, we, and then many agencies and the Red Cross, we, we do blood drives. So we're involved in, in the town quite a bit. And I think uh, that that's part of what students are, are, we hope that they'll do here. And so we help facilitate that. Well, definitely one of the volunteer areas that we wanted to get involved in in volunteer services is the international service because that's starting to, to grow. And uh, I had a grad student who had spent time in Japan as a volunteer and wanted to work on that. And so she put an idea out and we actually came up with and, and did our first volunteer service uh, trip overseas, which uh, was a extremely successful and the students who participated had a wonderful experience and and it it was it was just a really good event and we'd like to pursue that and, and continue doing that so uh, I'd say international programs especially with the fact that the university is really pushing international things it's nice to be part of that that was exciting to become an official wave member students need to volunteer 10 hours through activities wave offers and have regular attendance at meetings for more information on volunteer services or WAVE, contact the Office of Student Activities at 309-298-3232. While Volunteer Services provides programming for students, a community agency works to ensure volunteers are in place for numerous organizations within McDonough County. The Volunteer Now Macomb Area Volunteer Center seeks to enhance the spirit and quality of community life by connecting people with volunteer opportunities, building the local volunteering capacity, and promoting service as a way of life. Volunteer Now, Macomb Area Volunteer Center, seeks to enhance the spirit and quality of community life. The organization provides opportunities to serve nonprofit agencies, builds upon the local volunteer base, and promotes serving your community. What we do is allow the nonprofit organizations within Macomb to register their nonprofit volunteer opportunities with us um, so that we can do a matching uh, service for the volunteers to those service needs. And uh, our primary goal is to connect people with volunteer opportunities and that's what we spend the most of, most of our time doing. Uh, we promote volunteerism in the media, uh, we participate in speaking engagements, and, uh, and then we provide services to our organizations, our nonprofit organizations, in that we offer them an opportunity to participate in training uh, for recruiting and retention for volunteers and that sort of thing. And we try to keep this to a very nominal cost. And uh, this October, we're actually very proud to be putting on our first ever Central Illinois Conference on Volunteerism. There is currently um, a conference in Chicago called ICOVA, and there is one in Southern Illinois, but there's never been one here in, in the central part of the state. So we're very proud to be hosting, uh, co-hosting with WIU Volunteer Services, the first ever in this area. Local agencies can register with Volunteer Now to post volunteer opportunities. Volunteers can also register so they can be called upon when service is needed.
Some of the volunteer opportunities that we have in the Macomb and surrounding areas, uh, one would be the animal shelter and they frequently need people to come out and help bathe the dogs and take them for walks and maybe walk the dogs in. And it might be something scooping out pens or something like that as well, but it all needs to be done. It makes it a lot easier for the dogs to get adopted if they're socialized and it just helps us uh, do a little extra for them. We use volunteers in the afternoons from one to three o'clock, uh, getting the dogs outside, getting, uh, getting some fresh air for them, uh, have a lot of volunteers play with the cats also. Um, we uh, welcome you know, anybody that's got free time to come out and help at the shelter. There are also opportunities um, with the Salvation Army. They have a thrift store there and they receive all sorts of donations and they have to be sorted through. Sometimes they are, are uh, brand new items with the tags still on them. Other times they are rusted, broken items that need to be discarded. So someone has to go through all of that and that's where they need volunteers. We can't keep low prices here without the volunteers. We have some volunteers that come in once a week and they'll just kind of clear off the empty hangers on the shelves and, and uh, some that uh, will assist in bagging for the uh, cash register and, and uh, so that things can be, uh, customers can be moved along faster. Uh, we have customer or volunteers that will come in and, and uh, uh, help us remove the old merchandise uh, off the shelves and, and uh, uh, so we can have room for new stuff. If anyone's interested in volunteering here at the Salvation Army Thrift Store, they would just call here. Uh, it's 309-833-4451. We have the long-term care facilities and the health care facilities here in town. The hospital, they are always desperately in need of volunteers for their gift shop and the reception area. Um, they also need escorts to, to uh, wheel people out in wheelchairs as they are being dismissed and run errands for um, different departments in the hospital. Um, all of the, the long-term care facilities, they have their own interesting and varied programs. Uh, for example, one uh, out at Wesley Village, they have a computer lab and they have used a volunteer to help teach just basic computer skills. What is a mouse? How to open, um, how to open a file and, and that sort of thing. And that has been very successful. Um, and out at the Elms, they have, they have readers that come in every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon and just sit down and volunteer to read out of a book so that the uh, residents are looking forward each week to an, more of the same story. Um, and the volunteer reads for maybe 20, 30 minutes. And that's a good opportunity. The um, Tri-States Audio Information Services is another um, wonderful opportunity to read to the blind and low vision in a production studio environment um, and that can be either live or it can be um, on tape. They usually have newspapers or magazines, predominantly newspapers for the different areas in the communities. We have the Tri-County Collection um, waste facility here in town that is part of WIRC. They take in paint cans, they take in um, they take in computers, monitors, small television sets, but the paint cans, they have to be sorted as to what is viable, what is latex, what is oil. There are so many different opportunities in the area and, and it, it's just a joy to be able to match people up with those areas that they truly enjoy. For example, if someone loves out, the outdoors, we have a number of different uh, uh, nonprofits that have opportunities for working outdoors. Hornfield Campus, for example, uh, that's, that's a fun place to work and helping with the nature trails and conservation and that type of thing. At any given time, Volunteer Now has numerous volunteer opportunities in its database, and that number is always on the rise. So roll up your sleeves and make a difference. So there are a number of positive reasons why volunteerism is so important, but it also it helps to it helps to continue the um, the nonprofit services in the area, which is probably the greatest need for volunteers because with the budgetary cuts, um, without the added 
volunteers, some of these nonprofits would be severely understaffed and unable to continue the same level of service in the community. So volunteers are, are very, very valuable. For more information, contact Volunteer Now at 309-836-3754 or by email at volunteernow at macomb.com or simply visit their website at www.volunteernow.info. Joining me in the studio to discuss a local volunteer organization is Kathy Chambers, president of the McDonough County Humane Society. Hello and welcome. Thanks Hi, for coming in today. Well, throughout different segments of the show, we've learned about volunteer opportunities in the community, and one of the the areas that was mentioned was the Animal Shelter and the Humane Society. And I'd like you to tell our viewers a little bit about the Humane Society and how people can get involved. Well, the Humane Society of McDonough County was actually incorporated in 1984, and it was a, the offspring of a volunteer group that got together at that time and were instrumental in getting the county to build an animal shelter facility. Now, while we don't own and operate the facility, it's county run. Um, we do support the animal shelter as much as we possibly can. Now, how can people get involved? Uh, with the Humane Society, all they need to do is give us a call and leave us their name and number. We also meet, we have a board meeting once a month that is open to all Humane Society members and also the general public. And they're welcome to just come to a board meeting if they'd like. Now, what do t volunteers typically do for the Humane Society? What kind of things can they do? We have a variety of volunteers that show up mainly for our events and then we have volunteers that are on specific committees and that also reside on the board. Now do you do actual work at the shelter like walking the animals or taking care? Uh, we have many members that do that but the Humane Society does not coordinate volunteerism at the shelter. They track and do take care of that themselves. Um, we do sponsor an open house once or twice a year at the shelter where our volunteers can also assist with that. Now why is it so important for a, for a community such as Macomb to have a Humane Society organization? Well, originally there wasn't even a shelter in this area, so the group that started the Humane Society, you know, there was a need for this definitely, and there still is a need today. For instance, the county shelter saw approximately 750 dogs and cats come through the shelter last year that are homeless. Um, many of those are reclaimed by owners, um, but most aren't and they need homes. So we try to promote adoption at the shelter. We have a poster program that we've implemented um, that is a very volunteer time intensive project to promote adoption at the shelter. And there is a large need in the area for homes for these animals. Yeah, I've seen those posters around town and I know it's hard not to look at those. So. It is. Tell me, I know you've got a big event coming up in October. It's held every October. Uh, tell me about that and some of the other fundraisers that the Humane Society does. Sure. Our two main fundraisers for the year are a dog wash in July where we wash approximately 160 dogs in half a day's time. And that's a huge event. And our other large event is the Bark in the Park, which is coming up in October. We do that every October. Now tell me more about the Bark in the Park. What, how do people get involved with that? What, what, a, what is the event? The event is dog-oriented. People bring their dogs. We have a dog parade around the square at 10 o'clock in the morning. You can just show up in the park in Chandler Park at 9 a.m. and for a $5 registration fee, they receive a bandana for their dog, a participation ribbon. There's contests and games throughout the morning in the park. And there's also dog costume contests. So for the $5, they can participate in all the activities in the park and also receive some goodie bags and treats for the dogs. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for coming in today and talking about the Humane Society. To volunteer or contribute to the McDonough County Humane Society, call 309-837-5611. To view pets available for adoption and other Humane Society information, visit www.hs.com mcil.org
The final segment of today's show features Western's American Humanics, an academic minor at Western focusing on the nonprofit sector. Nonprofit human services organizations play a pivotal role in helping people of all ages and backgrounds develop their capacities needed to live a quality life. They need nearly 50,000 trained and dedicated professionals who want to make a difference. Western's American Humanics minor gives students the opportunity to obtain the skills necessary to become dedicated leaders in nonprofit organizations. American Humanics at Western Illinois University is all about learning to lead and leading to learn. Nonprofit youth and human services organizations play an essential part in helping people live a rich life. Through Western's American Humanics program, students are able to gain a leadership edge to help those organizations and the people they serve. American Humanics is um, a national alliance of colleges and universities, nonprofit organizations, and other affiliate partners. And our university is um, the only public university in Illinois that offers the, uh, we offer a minor, a minor in youth and human services nonprofit organizations and we are an affiliate of American Humanics and the goal of our program our minor program is to prepare uh, students for leadership uh, positions in nonprofit organizations as um, to help students meet that goal uh, students are required to complete an 18 hour 18 to 19 hour a uh, minor program that's uh, located in the Department of Recreation, Park and Tourism Administration. And so with that 18 to 19 semester hours, students can be eligible for certification through American Humanics. And this, the certificate is a value added um, uh, to their degree program. And it, um, their certificate enables them to have greater entree into different positions in nonprofit organizations throughout our country. And um, so given you know, that background, students can um, uh, pursue a variety of careers from managerial positions in a nonprofit organization to a person who specializes in fundraising, who, um, one who might be interested in special events or in financing or uh, any, any task that uh, many nonprofit organizations um, uh, have available, including volunteer management. This minor, offered through the Recreation Park and Tourism Administration Department, allows students to gain the skills needed to become a leader in a nonprofit organization. Students in the program participate in courses related to the foundations and practices of nonprofit management, have hands-on learning experiences working with nonprofit agencies, and receive individualized career development and mentoring. Currently, um, I am serving my internship with Big Brothers Big Sisters of McDonough County. And um, prior to that, I had experience. I did my service learning project through American Humanics with Mosaic. I worked um, with clients there um, helping them complete their daily tasks they need to do and I help serve in the lunchroom and I help them with their afternoon activities and currently with Big Brothers Big Sisters I am helping um, with fundraising uh, we currently just did our, our bowl for kids sake which is our biggest fundraiser of the year and we raised thirty four thousand dollars with the community and um, I'm working on doing with Western Bigs which is an on-campus thing um, where um, littles who are waiting to be matched in the community-based program are matched with Western students and they meet on campus every other Monday night. Last year Nicole served as an um, undergraduate student assistant with the program and how it benefits the community at large is that one of the requirements of being an affiliate of American Humanics is that we have to have a, a community council and the community council um, includes five different uh, representatives from affiliate organizations. Um, one of the organizations is Big Brothers Big Sisters where Nicole was able to network and find a, a talk with the director, the regional director for Big Brothers Big Sisters and explore opportunities. She was able to get an internship 
than with Big Brothers Big Sisters. Another community council member is, was from the a Red Cross, another was from 4-H, and another from the um, YMCA. All are affiliates of American Humanics and ideally uh, students can network with those members and provide uh, some volunteer hours or provide uh, internship hours with those organizations. So not only does it uh, help students understand the nonprofit, but uh, they're contributing to helping the organization meet its goals and mission and programs as well. I know with Big Brothers Big Sisters, if you don't have volunteers, you don't have a program. I've also been working in Warren County. Um, they've started a new program there with Big Brothers Big Sisters. And we have children that need to be served, but we need volunteers to volunteer their time to help these children in a one-on-one -on -one mentoring. And um, without volunteers, a lot of times the organizations are not able to complete fundraisers. Uh, they need volunteers to pass out shoes at both for kids' sake or to make sure the pizzas are being put out and everything's kept picked up. Um, to collect donations. Um, volunteers are vital to nonprofit organizations to be able to succeed. You can make a difference. Call the RPTA office today at 309 298 1967 to learn how you can become involved in the American Humanics program. That's all the time we have for today. I'd like to thank everyone who appeared on today's program and thank you for watching. For Campus and Community, I'm Darcy Schimberger.